What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, you're in for a good video. Today, me and Caleb are gonna scavenge around this place and try to find some stuff. Uh, we're gonna, you know, walk through our thought process of making cheap and easy fish structures for you to build. Now, I know all of these things aren't gonna be accessible for you to get, but just be creative in, you know, making your own fish structure, but hopefully this video helps you get an understanding of, you know, like what fish like and you know obviously this might spark some ideas for you so it's gonna be kind of a challenge Caleb's got his camera I got this camera we're gonna you know kind of challenge each other and we're gonna need y'all to tell us which uh, fish structure y'all think is the best or will attract more fish we're gonna get right into it and man there's a lot of stuff uh, yeah we'll turn it over to the two separate cameras and we'll divide out and start scavenging our materials and start thinking about our builds. I really have no idea what I'm gonna do. Let's get into it. So we really have no idea what we're gonna do. Uh, uh oh, Justin's getting some nice B-roll. Hey oh Justin, yeah. Oh you, yeah. you look like Always. a professional. I know, I know. All right, what are we about to do, Caleb? All right, we're gonna roll the B-roll in three, two, one. Let's go. I'm gonna go gather my my main piece. This is my main piece right here. Uh, well, hmm, let me go look over here. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think. All right, guys, I am now on my own. Justin is back that way. He's gonna go do his own thing. I still, I kind of have in mind what I'm gonna do. Um, but first, there's a lot of junk over here that I get to look, you know, I get to look through. Hopefully we don't run into a snake or wasp or anything because I did not sign up for that. What I have in mind is there's a lot of this black hosing here, which is fairly cheap. You could probably buy this really, really cheap at your uh, like local hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. So I'm gonna keep this in mind. There's a bunch of it. Um, there's a big roll up here and there's a lot of it on the ground down here. So in my last video, I used a barrel and I know that was a, that's a great fish structure, but not everybody has access to a barrel. So. I want to eliminate that and I'm going to use this. This is a big flower pot. Now, you could buy one of these, you can find one of these. I just feel like a flower pot is a little more accessible. Actually, I'm going to use two big flower pots because you'll see you'll see in the design. Okay, so while editing, I just thought I'd put a disclaimer that these are private ponds. I made a video before where I didn't make that clear, so I wanted to make it clear in this video, so I just thought I'd put this in there. Uh, go check out that video if you want to, and also check out Caleb's channel. He just started it, and uh, you know, tell him about it. Yeah, I just started a YouTube channel probably with you know three weeks ago. Um, it goes by Avid Angler TV. That's the name of it. I have a few videos up. Um, I have a long list of ideas in mind. I'm going to be fishing with Justin and a couple other buddies, just local, and... Um, Try to get a lot of content out there to you guys. Um, you know, one to two videos a week. So y'all be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that because yeah. I do have that coming at y'all pretty quick. Go check that out. And let's get back to the video. Just wanted to make all that clear, introduce Caleb a little better, and let's get into the video. So for a good base, we have a few barrels up in here. And that's going to be the easiest thing to do. Um, it's going to be the cheapest and quickest way to build a good fish structure. So I'm going to get up in here. Hopefully there's no wasp or anything. Here we go, guys. Like I said, this is just a 30 gallon uh, barrel. Fairly cheap, um, which is gonna be a great, great, great um, foundation for our fish structure just because um, just because it does sink and it will attract a lot of fish. There's a lot of, um, a lot of things you can do to this to attract fish. So we're gonna start off with this. And I'm gonna make me a little pile over here of all my stuff. Look at Justin, he's way over there. <laughs> Look how clueless he looks. Hey, don't be cheating. What? Googling stuff. No, no, no. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, guys, we're off in here. We're off in the junk. Ooh, nah, dang, I want to use that, but that's going to be hard for y'all to find. Hmm. I want to use one of these big plastic mesh pieces, which is what we put on top of our greenhouse uh, tables, but 
I don't know where you could find one of those, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm trying to think what y'all can find. What's easy and just available for the average Joe. We have our foundation here. I'm gonna leave that there. We have all this tubing here. Um, I already know what I'm gonna kinda do with all this stuff here. So, I'm going to go find, Justin actually has a PVC pipe in the back of his truck, and I'm actually gonna go steal it. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm able to do this. He just said I could use anything around the farm, but I'm going to help myself to the back of this truck, and hopefully he won't find out. He's over here talking crap. I got his pipe. Pots over there are mine. You can't use them. There's two flower pots. Those are mine. I'm, I'm claiming my 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 building materials. Caleb, you're taking my rod tube. He's on to me, guys. He's on to me. He's on to me. I didn't think he'd see me, but he did. Now he's getting all salty because he knows that Caleb's going to build a better fish structure than he is. Let me set that there. He's going to use my rod tube. I'm going to be nice and let him. It's just a plastic PVC pipe that uh, I bought a rod, a six cents rod. And just quick shout out to six cents. They send your rod tubes in actual PVC, not those crappy little cardboard things that could get easily broken. I really don't know. I've been walking around in the same spots and I need to hurry up and get to building because I'm trying to you know, do this fast and easy for y'all to, to build. More flower pots. These are cheap. You can find them. You can probably go to like, uh, a you know garden center or lowe's home depot and ask them hey have y'all had to throw any away any plants or yada yada and they might have a lot of these sitting around they don't have to be quite this big they have smaller ones there's pots coming every different size so here's some other big bins i really don't know what i'm gonna do i'm kind of just taking materials away from caleb to where he he doesn't have access to them because uh yeah why not <laughs> i already got the barrel, the pipe, tubing over there. Now, that's gonna be the basics of my fish structure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go walk around, try to find a few small things to add in, and um, hopefully make this thing the best that it can be, just so we can beat Justin. That's really why I'm out here. He hit me up, he was like, hey Caleb, can you, you wanna do this challenge to see if you can build the best fish structure? I was like, yeah man, I'm, I'm always up to, uh, <clears throat> to win and give you an L, so. <laughs> I guess that's my goal today is not to build the best fish structure but just to beat Justin so he can see he knows who's the best I just got popped by a wasp right underneath that trailer I was getting my my building materials and I got stung oh oh he got me good see what I do to make YouTube videos put my life on the line look at all of this junk <laughs> I have to go through all of this stuff here um we have everything from cinder blocks all the way up to carts, other pipes. Justin's trying to figure out what my ideas are for the video. And I know I'm not, no I'm not, I'll go away. I'm just, I'm just spying, just a little spying. You can see he's trying to cheat. That's the third time he's done that. Well man, this is, hey, well, I already got in mind what I'm gonna do. He's trying to cheat. He's trying to figure out what I'm doing. And look, I even had in mind, just in case things got too extreme, we have an old four-wheeler right here. And you know, you can do a lot of stuff with this four-wheeler. So, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Just in case Justin has a wicked idea that we don't know about, um, I can always throw this in there and uh, make my fish structure 100 times better because that alone is its own fish structure. So we can make like an empire. Um, but we don't wanna take up the whole pond. We're gonna keep it kind of small and uh, go from there. You got a solid plan, Caleb? Yeah, I have an idea. No, oh, that's that, a that's a good fish structure. Oh, oh. Like that's hey guys, that's that's my fish structure there. It's already built and made. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go through the run through here in a little bit on my camera. We're about to do the build, guys. It, it's time. Got everything in the back of the truck. We're gonna kind of spread out in this area and get to building. Bill made a joke. Said I had him here taking school pictures for the yearbook because I brought brought my big light. Man, you never can have enough light. But uh. Let's get to building. Okay, so 
So here is the first level of what I'm gonna call the brim bungalows. Look at that, guys. We're gonna have little brim, be able to get up in there, hang out, get out of the sun, because this is gonna be a little shade cove for them. And I don't know, bait fish, whatever, but I'm gonna call them the brim bungalows. That's the first layer. Bottom layer, first story is brim bungalow. So here we go. If y'all need any, uh, anything done with a chainsaw, you know who to hit up. Yep, me right here, Justin's <laughs> Tree Service. My design is very simple. It literally is two big flower pots, uh, you know, smaller, medium-sized flower pots. The good thing about mine is that it can be modular. If you don't want to build something this big, you can buy smaller pots and make something smaller. That's what's cool about it. If you don't really have, like, depending on the cost, you can go smaller, you can go bigger. You know, you could, you could, it, the options are unlimited. Be creative and get, you know, get to build them. So up here, I just added some of these uh, tubing. I'm going to thank Caleb for that little idea. Uh, you know, we had them laying here in the shop, and I said, man, I need something up top. So I kind of made it look like a tree. This is just going to give a little bit more dimension to the thing. And, yeah. I love the brim bungalows. I think they're going to be cool. Fish are just going to hang out in here. I mean, look at all that. I mean, there's going to be shade in here. The fish are going to be nice and cool during these hot summer days. I wish I was in that right now because I'm, I'm sweating. But this is it. I'm going to throw a little B-roll of this thing. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all like it. Leave a comment below if you want to vote for mine. All right, guys. I'm officially done with my fish structure. I know it doesn't look the best, but... This will attract fish. It's not all about the looks, um, but this is definitely going to attract fish. As you can see, all on the inside, we it's like crisscrossed all through there, which means these bait fish are going to get off in here, and they're going to feel real secure from these um, bass that are looking around the outsides. I also have these appendages. Also looks like a little tree, a um, little brush pile, I guess you could say. Um, these bluegill and all these um, shad and <clears throat> other little minnows and stuff will get off in here as long as he, I mean, as well as these bass will. Um, as you can see, I also have these PVC pipes. They go all the way through. I got two of them. I got one up here, and then I got one down here in the middle section as well. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, this is what I've come up with. So it's a lot of hard work. I'm sweat, sweaty, I'm dirty, but this was quick. It's cheap. Um, you could probably find this these parts and make this yourself for right around the forty dollar range. You could probably end up finding one of these buckets actually um, just anywhere laying around. They're all over the place. But like I said, this is an easy fish structure to make. It'll attract fish and it will help you, you know, catch fish in the future if you put it in your pond. Um, but yeah, this is it. We're gonna get a couple B-roll shots of it. So, hope you all enjoy. Please vote for me. All right, so it's the next day and we're about to put our fish structure in the water and see if they sink good and pick locations for them. So, uh, yeah, mine almost flew out on the way here. That was, that was sketchy, but uh, luckily the center block held it in. But let's get it put in the water. Okay, so now we're going to get these things put in the water. Uh, yeah, where are you going to put yours, Caleb? Uh, wherever you're not going to put yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw mine like right off of this point. The reason I'm, I'm picking this little peninsula here, uh, because like I said before, this is a private pond. You know, don't, don't throw plastic and, and fish structures in, in public waterways unless you have permission from, you know, your local authority. We picked a really windy day. It's filling up with water, but uh, we wanted it over there, <laughs> but it's drifted. Go down! All right. It'll go down. It will. It's going down. It's going to take a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of good, though. It's going to be like right off of this point somewhere out there. Baba! Three. here it's gonna be be right off the bank how deep is it right there i hope it's deep enough 
It's, oh, dude, look. Stood upright. You have a treetop. <laughs> we might be able to see that one. I think it's sitting on the ground. Uh, we, we might need to move that later with the John boat just because it's kind of ugly. They went in, they sank. We did a good job. So, uh, yeah, y'all make sure to go subscribe to our channels if you liked the video and make sure and comment below, you know, whose design you liked better or if we could, what we could have approved on in each design and if you want to see more stuff like this. So I'll leave Caleb's channel below. Go check them out. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we love making videos like this for y'all. And see y'all next video. Peace. If you want to see how me and Caleb made this thumbnail, here, I'm about to insert the clip. It's it's just how what you got to do. It's a little behind the scenes. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, we ready? Yep. Wait. One, two, three. Strike a good pose. Oh, right. hey, wait, wait, do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. That should work. We just go, we just pose three times. There's gotta be one, something in there.